Blood rises in the sky's crawl, like an orange. I adore oranges, but their acid is dire for teeth. Oranges are foreign imports. During the last World War, Britain had none. During the next World War, will I love a soldier? That time is done. Kurdish women fight IS with Kalashnikovs and songs. I minister to my armpits, tone the facial veil with orange oil in mineral water. After eating, I floss my treacherous teeth. Irish teeth are often false. Hungarian implants are for life. True. If you get them checked in London once a year. Next year, I take the tube direct from Heathrow to the Tate. In the morning, I don't always hug my cat. I forget she needs it. Needs go deep. I as standing stone. My uncle is a photograph with black hair and brown eyes. That's handsome, mother says. But blonde hair with brown eyes is handsomer. Take the sergeant's son. He has a noble name, Aegon. I take these statements as stones. Men are animals, mother says. It is a stone, but the wrong shape. I set it to one side. I wouldn't wish it for the world, mother says. Her face weakens. It is a common expression, and she uses a borrowed voice. It is a squat, ugly stone. I am stone. Inside are stories, not of my evolution, but of my fragmentations. A tall detective adopts me and buys me wonderful clothes. I join a tennis club and play tennis wonderfully against invisible opponents. I get married at 18 to an indistinct tall man and the tale ends as the plane takes off on our honeymoon, his fingers inching up my stony thigh. I am a maker of rules. I decide that I must stop daydreaming and it becomes a rule. I decide that I must love because it is the Christian thing which is the right thing and it becomes a rule. My rules are attitudes to the passings of light across my small mound. I test them only on the inside. That's what it means to be a stone. I understand that love is the most right order and meets all angles. That I must not hit people, which is love. That I must not criticize my mother, who is love. That I am fed, which is love. That I am clean, which is love. That I have something nice to say, which is love. That I think kind thoughts, which is love. That people are precious stones, which is love. That I should polish, which is love. That should keep rolling back to me, which is love, and which only the boring ones do. by the way, has a sweet curve. Being a baby is something one can't again imagine, until on the flat of the back and palms bind the undercarriage with nappy appropriation. Then it all comes back, sucking the substance of the mouth, first feel of pushing, second breath. The thighs are a different matter. Complex dependencies, seneschals, outriders, their own broody shelves. Whether the two times hand feigned a journey is moot. Ted Hughes said hers seemed to go on forever. Was that an Everest quest? Anyway, the hand. Once, 
when he in his early to bed and I in my late display of cut out drawings on the coverlet. Not now I think of it because of the drawings, but because of me, the palm rose on my thigh. Why I pulled away, who knows? He pursed his lips, I parted, swept the drawings up, stopped at the door. Nothing wrong. Okay. Twice, walking home from Mass. What would you do if he, concerned face, put his hand up, serious concern, like this? In the joke, the stolen donkey was beaten to death the third time. I might have felt prepared if it came to that. Three times a let, let, let. In rare cases, the spine's curve might be rather too much and can cause anhedonia. Though lordosis in rats is said to signal willingness to mate. Julia Kristeva said that the ego ideal must involve libidinal cathexis or else drives are dissociated from the psychic realm, meaning divorced from pleasure, meaning getting what you want, meaning wanting. First affections are for the mother and father, she said. Your peace. Patient, I'm 27 years old and I've never had a sexual relationship. Psychiatrist, no one is asexual. Patient, I imagine a man stuck inside my body and me reduced to unbearable powerlessness. Psychiatrist, why do you write me so many letters? Patient, I've started to read the newspaper you read. Psychiatrist, life is more than work. Why do you overextend yourself? Patient, can I see you more often? Group, Forget your notions of equality. Become a seductive woman with wiles. Patient. This boy in the Gretok, the thought of him coming up to me at the Cayley, I made my parents take me home. Man at random. You know men like women to be active in sex. Patient. When womanhood and sexuality come in, they steal away everyone I love. Psychiatrist, I am bored with your repetitious story. Patient, it would have been so much better for me in the 1800s when marriages were arranged and courtships were sexless. Psychiatrist, the cure is affected by love. The relationship with the therapist is an enactment. Patient, I'm still a virgin, but these last seven years of seeing you three times a week have brought me a divine inner peace. Wounded thigh. Artemis and Apollo. As a pair, they operated very well to preserve their mother. They had the whole day sewn up between them. Think of them as one archer with gold and silver bows. The eternal purpose is simply to hunt. Whether deer or boar or music or the methods of healing, the action is satisfied by its own conjugation. Siblings can never deny their shared womb. Their mother is a kind of sky they move by blindly. They say it's what gets into a woman that makes her impure. A brother is not that kind of input. A brother is side by side. All she denied was subjugation. Privacy in this scenario means policing of the thighs. And whatever augmented power may be hidden in them, hard as arrowheads. Dionysus. The thigh is also for speed. 
Certain herbs applied may hasten labour. The thigh is a substitute. Daily walking makes me more warrior. I drink less wine, but with more taste. You'll say I'm boring, but you don't know how wet. Mad word. Being streaming water, she is the horizon. She eats air and land. She is beyond pollution. What flows is impervious, is passing through. She gives birth from her own dredging. Her son is God. We understand her encapsulated as virgin. Closed humours allowing no infiltration. Stillness is an illusion. Her inside self refuels. She's plugged by a non stick pure infusion. Her womb is sun. Eric Thonius. Where would you like it? Where did she take it? On the breast. Fuck you. Disgust is cognate with can't stomach. I can't brain it. But it's living. Men are messy. Women clean up. His lame pursuit suggested I'd fix him. I thought he had the weapons I needed. He thought I had generous thighs. It was out of our hands. In the end, not such a bad outcome. Erictonius, born from the feel of my thigh, grew up to be the ally from hell. Fisher Queen. One. Having a vein removed is a sobering event. There will be a scar at the groin where the excellent surgeon pulled it out. I need frequent exercise to get the feeling back. It's an ugly thing, so close to the pleasure possibility. So close, it makes me deploy my three javelins. Swift thinker, hard worker, yearn, tip. Two. The lady, our mother, looked sad the morning after. My nightdress is all wet, my sister said, she said. I know the chair. I do not know the bed or the will. I know the crux of muddied crystallization. Shiny dark thing. What will I assume? The will was there once, she said it. We came of it. We came of a long will, wound under skin. Think of a bed of snakes. When we lie in it. Three. I pushed him to hit me. Guilt may induce fealty. Don't blame me more than my absent lord. I am untrained for the position. Women of the north grew strong when their husbands were imprisoned. They learned how to change plugs. Is it always manipulation of electricity? The conduct of disaffected ions? From The Life of Pythagoras by Iamblichus. Abaris came from the Hyperboreans, being a priest of the Apollo there worshipped. He gave Pythagoras a dart, which he took with him when he left the temple. He was carried by it through impassable places, rivers, lakes, marshes, mountains, and performed with it lustrations, expelling pestilence and wind from cities that requested him. Pythagoras, as though he were a god himself, taking Abaris aside, showed him his golden thigh. It said his golden thigh may have symbolized calculation. People of the Thai.
not boat, not feet, not wind, bicycle, could bring us to where, if we were truthful, we would say we wish to be. We were born there of the same warm, enormous female whose long birthing word still speaks its similar syllables from the shells without substance of her surrogates. We have a castle in the west that will never fully do. To make it hold, we wind around each other, imitating soft limbs of the long-lasting linden tree. By our leaves and how we manage the embrace, we know us. Nervous maladaptors behind the hopeless face of innocence. We have lodged our real treasure in a hyperpolar bond. Wherever we face, one thigh will always indicate there. I think this is the real meaning of strange, to stand part outside, part in. The overarching lie is that our corners can be compassed by a one-half hidden sphere. All this is to say that I don't know my pleasure. Minimum point, maximum pressure is the algorithm best applied. But with your thrust, everything presses in. It's your arrow, not my thigh, I fly with. To the ever-vernal land beyond Polaris, that provable mover and a bearable snow. My cat and I has never been a true thing. Until this evening, when I feel for her, I finger through her layers of orange fur. Her muscles are in rich conversation, living dissertations never signed off. The self-dedication makes me tender. Can I hold her and say I'm pleased, stroke her, groom her, inviolate? Endings are a human hyperstory. The harness in me, eternally God's arm. Will I wear for you bastet skin, face stonily pragmatic, matter organs of God?